Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we knocked out a shrine. And then, we knocked out a shrine. And to cap off the episode, we knocked out another shrine. That's, that's all we did. It was a long episode, but mainly just because I was exploring. And it, honestly, I don't regret it. It was, it was very, very enjoyable to just walk around, find new things, spawn infinite horses, and just explore. So, today, we're actually not going to be doing that, though. We are going to be going to Hateno Village to knock out some side quests. Well, Kakariko and Hateno Village to knock out some side quests that I picked up, as well as a shrine in Kakariko that you guys dropped a tip about how to acquire. Now, before we go about doing that, I would like to apologize. Whoa, what, what? Oh, it's him. Okay. I would like to briefly apologize for something that I have forgotten. And when I say forgot, I forgot, I mean I really did forget. Like, I could have had this five, six episodes ago, but I, I, I forgot. So, if I go into my runes, you will see that I have enabled Amiibo, which is awesome. Now, the first Amiibo I'm showing off today is the Lucas Amiibo, or rather just any Amiibo that you have uh, that doesn't have a specific purpose for the game you can touch it to the gamepad and get some small rewards of a zap shroom some herbs and raw meat nothing nothing that special but the other amiibo that I would like to use is actually going to become a companion for the foreseeable future I am going to be using and I introduce you to Wolf Link. That's right. We have Wolf Link now. And to avoid confusion... Wow, he's big. To avoid confusion, because he is Link and I am Link, I'm probably just going to be calling him Wolf from now on. Instead of coming up with some... Some weird fan name that is awkward and very, very OC of me. I'm not going to be making him an OC. Instead, he is just Wolf Link. Or Wolf. And yeah, he's our friend now. So, let's see, should I go to Kakariko first? I think I'm going to go to Kakariko first. That makes sense. I've been wanting to get the the shrine there for a while, and chronologically, we went there first. So, I will meet you over by Kakariko Village. So, as many of you might recall, I uh, I made a note of this, this sphere. I don't even know what to call it. It's, it's a sphere, but there's probably some special name for it that is needed to open a shrine overlooking Kakariko Village. And I asked you guys, how do I get this? Because I, I want it. I want this shrine. And you guys answered, I get it by doing all of the quests labeled in this book. Uh, we read this before, and it's, it's basically the memoirs of a bunch of different people confessing their various worries, as it says here. And if I do all of that, then I will earn Impa's favor, and I'll be able to use that orb to open the shrine. So that is going to be our agenda for this episode. I am going to be going through Kakariko Village, talking to everyone, and seeing what they need. What what help they, they require of me. So there's going to be a lot of cutting. Hopefully this episode won't be too long, but if it is, I apologize. High Spirits Produce. Alright, what what's in here? Hello, wary traveler. Welcome to Kakariko Village. Here we are blessed with the protection of the goddess. That's why we have so many healthy, happy animals and an abundance of fine crops. My products are all locally grown, fresh, and seasonal. Truly choice goods that bring something special to any recipe. Go on, grab one. Oh, or are you here for something else? Ah. Recommendations? Let me think. Well... Everything I have to sell, really. If you want specifics, there's always swift carrots. My mister grows them. They put Kakariko Village on the map. Actually, to be honest, there's one other crop Kakariko is known for. Fortif fortified pumpkins. <sighs> I'd sell them here, but you see, my mister and the pumpkin farmer, they don't exactly get along. So if you want fortified pumpkins, you'll have to go get some straight, sh straight from Olkin's Patch. Oh. Well, that's good to know. They don't get along. You know, I just realized, 
I can swim up waterfalls. These were inaccessible to me before, but now... I wonder what's up there. Oh, there's something. Oh, there's definitely something up here. Oh, woo! Barely made it. I, I was silent there because I thought I'd have to cut that attempt out, but no, it looks like it worked. What's up here? A goat, which I'm completely uninterested in. Is there anything up here? Please say there is. Okay, there's something at the top of that ridge. Up! Oh! Yes, 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 yes. That was... That was an adventure. Wow. Alright, so there's a chest up here. Which means I can use Magnesis on it. Pull it out. No, 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 no! No, no chest! No chest! Chest! No! Chest! Chest! Okay, well, I found a chest. I also found a, uh... Hey, whatchamacallit, I found a place to dive to get a Korok. Alright, uh... Chest. And it looks to be something pretty good. What's in here? A f oh, yes! Yes! My phrenic bow broke recently, I've been missing it. Neat! And while I'm here, I might as well get this Korok. Sir, Sir Link, my cuckos, my precious cuckos, they haven't come home yet. Now that my wife wants nothing to do with me, my cuckos are my only emotional support. Wah, what do I do? Arrgh! I'll go find them. Really? Thank you so much. I have ten cuckos in total. Hopefully you'll be able to find them all. Wow, this is... This is the same quest from tw from uh, uh, Ocarina of Time, but I'm not... Oh, hello, you have a quest too. When's food? I'm bored! I'll play with you later, never mind. But I'm bored! Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so ten cuckos, eh? Well, that's something I can do, and that's the first quest I've found thus far. One. Two. Okay, apparently I've returned four. Somehow, even though I've returned only two, but somehow four have come into his possession. So I only need to find six more. Neat. Three, or I guess it's not three since he's found some, but I'll continue counting what I've gotten so far, not what he says he's gotten. So three. Oh. Four. Six. I think this is the last one. Let's find out. And let's deliver it in style. Six. All right. Hey, buddy. I, I should have ten cuckoos total. Even one unaccounted for won't do. Sadly, only nine have returned to me. To think that somewhere out there, yes. Okay, so nine. I need one more. One more. Oh, I found it! I found it! He's up there! Oh, that's the last one! Now, how do I get up there? Uh, actually, I have, I have a quick fix. Just run up this hill, and then glide down? That should work, in theory. Or, or actually, I maybe I'll just climb like this. Yeah, okay, so I climb straight up the roof. And this is the last one! All right, I'm really glad that they don't run away like in uh, in other games. All right, Link, my cuckos, my sweet little baby cuckos, they're all back. Thank you so much. Really, I could never thank you enough. This isn't much, but I insist you take it. Purple root, that's, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm ready to get out there again. Though I do wish my wife would come back to me, just like my cuckos did. All right, flown the coop complete. Onward to the next quest. Do you need something? I haven't seen you around here before, but there's something so familiar about that face of yours. Oh, oh yes, I remember now. 
It was long ago when the calamity hit, but you look just like the swordsman who was trying to stop it. Yeah, that was me. I love how Link just waves. He's like, yep, yeah, yeah, that's that's me, all right. Say what now? You're really the same swordsman from way back when? Ha ha ha. Young people these days sure do like their jokes. If you were really that noble swordsman, you would have that legendary blade, the sword that seals, seals the darkness. You see, the thing about that swordsman is, he trained with swift carrots instead of a blade. He strengthened his body with a diet made entirely of swift carrots. And he tempered his soul with the sweet aroma of swift carrots, too. That's what my grandfather always used to say, anyway. So I suggest you stop joking around all the time and instead, have a carrot, and, be, and try to be more like the swordsman. Ah. Looking for carrots? You can buy some over at my old lady's shop. If you want to be strong like that legendary swordsman, come to my place when the day is done. Alright, so there's another quest we can we can do. Are you the carrot guy? No, you're not the carrot guy. That was like steam or whatever. What do you need? I saw that. It seems you caught me. I could never get along with steam, no matter how I tried. Even when we go hunting together, I'd slowly crouch down to get close on our, close to our prey, but he'd just charge in yelling. Offense is killing! That's what he'd bellow. Annoyed the tar out of me. Needless to say, our prey always ran. On top of that, he just refused to sell my pumpkins in his shop. But, my, what have I done? I'm just so mortified. Be but being caught in the act makes me realize what I've become. As of today, I'll stop taking my anger out on the crops. Does that actually change? Anything, though? Oh, oh, you're still here, eh? I saw it again. You caught me again? I'll try, I'll try to stop myself, but this grudge has grown over the years. It takes me over. No, the past is behind me. It really is. Still, I just can't stand the fact that he refused to stock my pumpkins at his shop. But whatever the reason may be, I, I plain shouldn't be doing such things. I've come to my senses now that you've caught me again. Thank you. As of today, I'll stop taking my anger out on the crops. Okay, if he does it again... Let's talk to him again. Oh, 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 you're still here, eh? Does he say the same thing? Yes. Alright, so I've caught him a couple times now. And then I'll talk to him later. What are these? Oh, cool. I'll, I'll talk to him later and we can get that quest rolling. But for now, I'm supposed to go see Steen in the nighttime. And get some fireflies because someone wanted fireflies. So I have some fireflies now, but I think this is where I need to go. Let's find out. Is this Steen's? No, but it's this woman's, and she's the one who wanted the firefly. I'm doing things out of sequence, but that's that's fine. It There's really no one way to do this, and I don't know where everyone lives, so. They say, yeah, stuff, I miss them so much. Now it's the same tired thing every night. I'm so sick of it. If only the fireflies would come to play here so I could see them. Well, I just picked some up. So, oh, let's see. Should under strict orders, yes. I have to bring the <laughs> the fireflies to her. So let's hold a bunch. And then drop them. Yeah, that's that looks like what I needed to do. Oh wow, look at all these fireflies. Thank you. This is all I have to offer, but please accept it with my gratitude. And a purple ruby. Okay, so we're getting these quests knocked out in uh in clockwork fashion they go low so prettily it's magical uh flirtatious or they don't live long i really don't want to ruin the moment but either one could ruin the moment but this has the potential of continuing the moment maybe wait is she married i can't i don't know if she's married or not i would assume she is based on the person in the bed next to me uh let's Try this? <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Is this. No, oh, that's. that's. Okay, so she's not married to the person in the bed, I guess. Uh, yeah. Really? Oh, you won? I bet Clary would like a picture of this. Well, I can get one. Apparently, this is part of the side quest as well. Cool. Save that. And then show it to Clary later. Okay, so I'll show that to Clary later, but for now, I'm still trying to find Steen. Oh, is this Steen? 
Oh, I think this is Steen because... Yeah, that's Steen. The best defense is a good offense. Would you like to master the art of combat? Teach me. Wow, interested in combat too. Just what I'd expect from such a big fan of the legendary swordsman. The Shika tribe has long excelled in knowledge and combat. We have quite a few secret techniques. I can't teach you all of them, but I think showing you just a few would be okay. Uh, let's do Sneak Strike, because I like sneaking. What's with that judgmental look? Sneak Strikes are a legitimate strategy. You just sneak up behind your foe, and before they, they realize you're there... Ha ha ya! They're met with the taste of steel, or wood, depending on your weapon of choice. Got it? There, there'll be no match if you sneak up on them. Since they aren't expecting the attack, you'll deal more damage too. If you move while crouched down instead of walking normally, you'll be a lot harder to detect. That's just not for monsters either. That's what I do when I'm trying to sneak up on wild animals too. Okay, so they're teaching me how to play the game. It's best to just try out a lot of different things to see what works for you. Got any other questions? Interesting. Wait, wait, wait. A technique you need to enter the shrine. Huh. Not sure what shrine he's referring to, but apparently there's a shrine that needs sneaking or something. Link, we were standing guard the whole time, yet this awful thing still happened. How could we have let someone sneak right past us? Someone snuck in and stole Lady Paya's most prized possession. I'm sure Lady Paya would feel a little more at ease if she saw Master Link's face. Well, that's another side quest. I'm doing so many out of sequence, but it's fine. Paya. Link. I swear I only took my eyes off. Oh, it's the ball. The ball. We triggered it. Apparently, we did everything we needed to do. I swear I only took my eyes off it for a second. What should I, what should I do? What's wrong? It's gone. Yes, the Shika heirloom. The heirloom has been stolen. And just when I had finally discovered the heirloom's secret. Oh, she was the one writing about the heirloom. The hero, chosen by the Shika heirloom, will be gifted the blessing of antiquity. Paya thinks the hero, as chosen by the Shika heirloom, is you. So she stayed up all night researching the heirloom. She came to the conclusion that the blessing of antiquity refers to one of those ancient shrines, and that the heirloom is the key that opens the shrine. And just before we were able to tell you this, the thing was stolen. I had been cleaning the heirloom regularly every day from, the, from morning to dusk. Someone must have stolen it during the deepest hour of the night. The place is off limit to outsiders. And no one from the village would do such a thing. Would they? Alright, so we have a quest. Cool. Someone with evil intent came to the sacred place. I bet grandmother... I'm glad grandmother is safe, but I still feel so defiled. So what do I do? Link, Pai is afraid that the thief may be still be nearby. Would you st please stay by your side today? Alright, so... This is kind of like a scripted thing. It's not me go around and try to find the guy. It actually follows a sequence, I guess. Master Link, thank you for staying by my side for the whole day. Oh, never mind. Okay. I see now that crying and feeling scared won't help us get the heirloom back. I checked in with Dorian and Kado, but they said that no, they didn't see anyone other than the villagers around. I'll try again to remember all that I can about the night the heirloom was stolen, but the thieves may still be hiding nearby. I have a bad feeling. If you spot any suspicious movement at night, don't approach. What do I do then? Okay. Yes. Yes. Don't approach them. Alright, so that's our objective. Just walk around during the night and try to find this mysterious Mr. Man. I can do that. Is it nighttime right now? No, it is not. Okay, well, let's sleep until night. It's actually pretty much night now, but whatever. Okay, it's night, so... Is this guy some kind of stalker? He's a stalker! I'm being stalked! So this is what it's like. I guess I'll have to visit him later. It sure is dangerous to be out alone at night, huh? Maybe I'll just head back to the shop. Wow, she actually did. What do you know? Huh. Oh. Oh, she's the one. She's the one. Oh, this is the Wind Waker side quest. That's suspicious activity, alright. She's never moved from there before. 
I have my sneak gear on. Nobody knows. Oh, snap. You don't know. Yeah, no one knows. No one knows. Just to make sure, I do have my stealth gear on. Yes, I have all of it on. I am st so stealthy right now. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Oh! <gasps> She's running. I wonder if anyone knows. Well, no one knows, but I have a strong suspicion. Here, just just to get into the thematics of, of this little hootie ha or whatever you call it. Let's unequip all of our stuff. That looks pretty cool. And then... Unequip everything. Oh, man. What is she doing? She's running. She's not being very stealthy, but I guess it's in the middle of the night, so she doesn't think anyone will care or see her. Oh, boy. What is she doing? No, no, no. Sneak. What is she doing? Do I approach her now? I think I approach her now. Ugh! I guess I can't keep it a secret any longer. Not even Clary knows. This is where the love of my life sleeps. No other guy has been has been able to stack up. He passed a long time ago, but I come here every now and then, and now and then to be with him. Where's the heirloom? Mm -hmm. Heirloom? You mean that thing in Impa's house? Did you steal it? Mm -hmm. What? Why would I steal something like that? Are you... Are you following me because you think I'm a suspect? How awful of you. Uh... Then... Okay. Yes. He got attacked by a monster. He promised he would always protect me. Did you, So did you steal it? Are you kidding me? I'm pouring my heart out and you're going on about that stupid heirloom? Besides, how can I steal it when Dorian and the others are guarding it all the time? Time. Interesting. An interesting clue. Can I talk to her again? No. All right. Thanks, I guess. Well, that's a clue. And that's a, a, a very good clue. In fact, uh, just to make sure there's nothing special here. Just going to, you know, go through the paces. All right, nothing special to see here. Except, like, this. A rhino beetle, cool. So, that's a clue. Let's go back to the village and maybe spy on the guards, because that's a likely suspect. If if it's being stolen... Apparently someone's saying something over there. Then maybe the guards are to blame. Yeah, one of the guards is missing. Why isn't Dorian back yet? He said he was going to the area above the village, but he should be should have been back by now. Well, that's a clue. We're, we're going after that. That's either a, a sign of guilt, or he's been trying to track down the the uh, culprit himself, and he found him. This quest seems to be falling into place as we speak. So we're going to go uh, over here. Go to the top of the village. I know exactly where it is, because this is like, the only place the villagers can go that's at the top. But we'll go up here and maybe find Dorian? Maybe I approach him. Have you come to look at the castle too? Oh, this, is, this isn't this is Dorian. Oh, this is Oakland. Dorian ran off to the hills back there. He seems like he was in a hurry, so I didn't get a chance to speak with him. Oh, I know what he's doing! He has the heirloom, and he's taking it to the shrine himself. That makes so much sense. Alright, so let's go to the, the clearing where the shrine is. It's right over here. There he is. Is he trying to get the shrine blessing himself? It's possible. Alright, he's running off over here into the woods. He doesn't think any is on, anyone is onto him. Let's just climb up here. Beat him to the, the pass here. He's going across the bridge. Whoa! Can't believe you heard me. 
Yeah, you're imagining things. No one's here. No one is here at all. Uh, I personally don't want to go across the bridge because it's easy for him to see me. I'm not going to jump into the water either. So I'm just going to go around here, take the long route. Okay, he thinks he's on to me, but he doesn't know exactly where I am. And I can use that to my advantage. I know you're there. Show yourself. Oh. You don't have to shout. I'm right here. So you're the one who stole the heirloom. Heh, <laughs> such anger. It seems this thing is truly special to the fools of this village. Why would you steal it? Don't play dumb, Dorian. You knew what you were getting yourself into when you decided to leave the organization. Oh. You forfeited your life the moment you left. Ng. <sighs> You did well to tell us about the heirloom. Unfortunately, unfortunately, your usefulness has come to an end, as must you, but first. It appears we have an audience. Hello. Oh, I need to equip my weapons. That was kind of dumb of me. Uh, just a knight's broadsword, I guess? And a shield of the mind eye, why not? All right. Oh, hello, damage. Why do I always fall for that? Every time. Every single time. Uh, let's eat a fish skewer. Uh, and actually, I need an apple just to top off my health. There we go. All right, and then I don't need stealth gear either. I forgot about that. Let's equip this, that, and this. All right, let's fight him. Whoa. -ho -ho. Oh, he missed. All right, this is good. Ah, I wasn't able to shield bash him. What is he doing? There we go. I got, I got the shield bash. That worked. I wasn't able to get like a, a flurry rush at all. Let him go. There's no telling what he might do. Let, or if we let him go, there's no telling him telling what he might do. Let's finish this. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's at low health. Well, let's uh, let's just finish him off. Oh boy, that did no damage. And got him. Whew! And I got a wind cleaver. Uh, but. No, I, no, I want the wind cleaver. <laughs> he had such a cool thing. Well, that wasn't too difficult. Especially once I switched to my actual armor. I can't believe I was being followed. I'm, I'm sure you figured it out, but all of this was my fault. There's no point in trying to hide it. I am a member of the Yiga clan. Or used to be, anyway. But then I met the most incredible woman who blessed me with two amazing children. And so I tried to change my ways. Tried to leave the clan. Ugh. But the Yiga, they took my wife's life as punishment. I couldn't let them hurt my children, so I used my position as gatekeeper to gather information for the Yiga. I told them about you and about the village in, and the village in exchange for safety. My grief in, about over losing a wife consumed me. But my grief over losing a, my wife consumed me, and I finally decided to cut ties with the Yiga completely. I decided I could protect my children from the Yiga. I wasn't afraid of them. But the Yiga are pure evil. They told me that they would kill both Impa and Paya if I didn't play along. Paya figured out that this heirloom is the key to opening an ancient shrine. We weren't able to make it work, but Paya thinks maybe you can. Paya, and all of us, are devoted to helping you in your quest. Now please, restore this heirloom to its pedestal. Uh, just one moment. I need to get this loot. Well, that was quite a thing. Uh, what do I throw? Uh, what do I throw away? Everything is so good. Uh, a, a broadsword? Let's see. Okay, is this weapon better? Yes, it's it's better. Uh, this is good to have. This is also good. This is amazing. That's good. Okay, I guess I'll drop that because I've used it. And pick up the wind cleaver? And what does it do? Neat. What's its official description? Cool. 
it it cleaves wind. That's nice. All right. So to end off this episode, let's go into the new shrine. Oh boy, let's go into the new shrine. Man, I I wasn't sure if we were gonna do it just because I couldn't find the half the quests I needed. But I mean, it worked. Neat. I I got them all. I got all the quests that I needed to do out of the way. And now we have a shrine to end the episode off with. I'll be honest, also, I thought the thing that I'm standing on now is actually the top of the shrine, but apparently it's not. The shrine! So the heirloom was the key to opening the shrine. Incredible. Master Link guy, I'm very sorry for all of this. I know it's a selfish request, but do you think you could keep what really happened a secret? I truly don't deserve mercy, but I don't want my children, Coco and Kotla, to suffer anymore. I know it doesn't make up for what I've done, but I pledge to protect the village and my family from now on, no matter the cost. Very nice. Now to end off the episode, let's go into this shrine, see what uh, see what we've been missing out on all this time. Lakna Roki's blessing. Wait. Wait. There's no trial? Well, that's a new one. That's... That's weird. Uh... I... I don't know how to handle this. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I do kind of know how to handle this. First, I want to make that. And climb up... Oops. I want to climb up here because... I don't know, there may be a secret. We'll find out. Equip. Magnesis. Is there anything? No. Nothing at all? No, there doesn't appear to be any secret. What we see is what we get, and what we get is just a reward. Straight up. Open and honest. A chest, which contains something that I'll probably have to discard. Yep, I'll have to discard something and get it. Edge of Duality. A curious double-edged sword crafted using Sheikah technology. It was originally made for Hyrulean or Hylian knights unfamiliar with single-edged blades. And I have to drop something to take it. Uh, these are all nice! You know, what I could do, which is completely fair, I could just leave this here. Like I said, all my stuff is amazing. And I can always skip travel back here when I need to. So I think I'm going to leave it. All my stuff is fantastic. So I'm going to leave it for now. And then get my blessing. And that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And next time, we're going to be doing pretty much the same thing we did this episode, except in Hateno Village. But this time, there's going to be a bit of a, uh, a prelude to getting to Hateno. Because if you recall, uh, when I originally went to that village, I, I went straight there on horseback. I didn't take any detours, even though there were so many detours I could take, I didn't take them. And so I ended up missing, uh, if I can go to the map here, let's see, Hiteno Village is over here. I ended up going straight from, from the, uh, the stable to Hiteno Village in one go. And so I missed out on a lot of the different play things that this area had to offer. So this entire section of the map is relatively unexplored. So we're going to be exploring that next episode. So, uh, yeah, th I think that's, that's it. And, uh, I guess join me next time where we'll be getting our, up our well-earned upgrade and leaving the village and going to another one. All right. See you guys later. Where's Link actually? Where, where did Wolf Link go? I get this battery, and sadly, Olimar doesn't have a tongue big enough to lick it. And you're wondering, what do you, what on earth, pal? You're weird. But have you never licked a battery? Like, one of these batteries, see if they still had juice in them? You can do that. It feels... It, 
There we go. Well, that's fine. We fought one of him before. Cool. A stone talus? I have dealt with them before, and this time, I am not a coward. 